Hey guys, how's things? Aaron from Inky Beard here yet again and today we're going to be doing something that I've wanted to do for ages. Um, you've probably seen this guy before, this is my Midori Traveler's Notebook uh, and I customized it slightly as you've probably seen in the other video um, and it has three books in it and today I'm going to be going through uh, one of them in detail and then the other two I'll probably just brush over because they don't get used as much. So uh, I write in this every day. I'm trying to keep organized um, and this kind of helps me do that. Um, the first one I use as a bullet journal but uh, I have my own style if that makes any sense. So it's a bullet journal um, but I do boxes instead of uh, the little bullets. So, especially because I use a grid notebook, um, I use the, the boxes and then I indent as to per project. Um, so I do the project up the top and then each task for that project is uh, then its own line. Um, I've been keeping up with it pretty well. Um, I've got three months in here, starting 2017 there. So I got about half of um, half of December from last year, 2016 in there. And I was able to kind of follow, keep up with the, um, the dates. I didn't stick to one per page in December. Um, it's kind of a little bit all over the shop and I changed that when I came to 2017. Um, I just do one day per page now. So some of them are quite cramped and, and flow over and others are, are not completely filled. Uh, it really just depends on what, what I was doing that day. Mostly I just do the work days of the week. Um, I would be further along but uh, I've only just hit the halfway mark of my uh, Midori. I believe this is the number... Nope, I don't know. I was going to say I think it's the number six, um, but I honestly have no idea. Uh, it's the grid paper one. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been really, really helpful. Uh, I've been able to track my days, make sure that I haven't missed anything. Um, it's really helpful to jot down all the things I need to do. Um, and I sometimes I will put in the, the notes with a dot. I still kind of follow... Um, some of the bullet journal things like uh, meetings are the triangle all that sort of stuff um, but it's mostly just what have I got to do today per project and then yeah just been really trying to keep on top of it because it it helps a lot um, I've left the page numbers by the wayside as well as the index only because I have the date at the top of every page and because I'm doing per page I don't really think I need it I can just kind of flick through find a date forward and back you know find whichever date I need and then just read through and list off whatever I had to do that day um, I do need to be more vigilant of not leaving blank pages like this I accidentally skipped a page the other day so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all of this <laughs> blank space it may just have to be blank space. I might go back and use it for maybe a note thing or something. Who knows? But um, I do actually have then a calendar which I've been trying to keep up with. Uh, I did really well in December and then <laughs> not so well in January. Uh, this month I've been a bit better. Not so much at the start of the month but a little bit better. And then I'm trying to kind of plan ahead. Uh, which this is supposed to really help me with because it'll come up to a date and then I'll be like, oh, that's right, I had that on today, whoops. Um, so it's been really good for our wedding hire business. I can put in when we have stuff and then when we get inquiries, I've been able to, to double check in the future. So yeah, that's been really good. Um, oh, it also has a whole bunch of extra stuff at the back which I did not know about. That's pretty awesome. And then it's got extra notes, which if I fill up my last one, which is uh, just the Tomo River Midori blank paper, this is just for general 
notes and sketches and you know when we're at work and I'm trying to explain the flow of some data um, I did this fairly convoluted drawing we we're making a chat system and things were crazy and I was trying to explain to one of the other developers what I was doing and you know how best that I could do that without messing up what he was doing um, and then again sometimes I just have like general checklists um, here's my I don't know if I can zoom in on that. That's my index for, and I made that specifically for this. I actually wrote this ages ago. <laughs> I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but I wrote that ages ago. That's my um, that's my index of all the things. Um, you'll see a, a few half completed stuff, and then I'll move a lot to the next date. So I'm kind of following the um, the traditional bullet journaling style of things. Um, I also want to get into the uh, signifiers as well, having, you know, things that are priorities with an asterisk, inspiration with the exclamation, and then further things to explore with like an eye or I might make up some of my own icons, that'd be cool. Um, and then, yeah, I've just got some, recently I've been trying to build some things and I'm about to do a video on this one. Um, I thought of an awesome spinner idea concept uh, for like a multi-tool as well as fidget spinner. Um, so, yeah, it's just been really, really good so far. Um, we're currently in, currently in late Feb, so I've been really keeping up with it and it has been amazing for my organization. So, uh, let me know if you have a Midori or Traveler's Notebook and uh, the sort of stuff you jot down in there or if you've got your own bullet journaling system. Uh, let me know what yours looks like. Um, and I will see you again very soon with a uh, couple more DIY and sketchy videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.